money since I was legit. Ever since I blew, they all on my dick. Hey, back then, they know I exist. Don't touch my cup, you know how I sip. Hey, got choke, long, that I made her when I shot out my whip. Hey, spent my 10 on my 50. From Prada, rolling up. I'm in a brand new model. It'll be here tomorrow. I don't got fears or problems. Only got real ones round them. Only got them. It take a week to count it. Then I'm back up. Name the place and we back up. Running these racks up. Hundred mils a week after. Dying from laughter. When they come to handles, never had one. With a bad one. Made a mill today and ain't my last one. Oh, I had to get back up. Closing the top on the raindrop. I'm keeping the game in the headlock. When it's throwed and blind in my dreadlock. In the end zone with the med doc. One phone call, get it dead stop. I feel like I own the season. Say one thing, just give me a reason. Knowing you're mad, I'm undefeated. Top dog, making it even. Oh, I had to get back up. Back up. I had to get back up. That's 20 goons and the ice cream 
with triple school. I got three strikes, ain't got to lose. When it's all on the line, what you gonna do? Come on, I'm highly favored. Don't wanna play me, uh. No conversation, ain't got time for no debating. It's for the taking, no hesitation, uh. Don't try my patience. I'ma pull out one for the set, boy, till there's nothing left. On a run to the bed until we all got them baguettes. Hear them footsteps coming, cause we coming for the check. We ain't gonna run, no, we don't hide. I could never switch, not a day in my life. Long as my dogs, they by my side. Yeah, we gon' ride till we die, die. Up and up is magic. With the gang, we ball out, it can't get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you, let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dreams reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laughing. Now I hit the scene, they like lights, camera action. Living in a dream. Coach, thanks. CA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Inner Harbor and M&T Bank Stadium here in Baltimore, Maryland. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between our visitors and the Baltimore Ravens. The children will grow, and it's the final weekend of summer, but we've got the NFL, and we're underway on EA Sports. Let's just feel it at the goal line. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down at about the 15. And what is going on here? Are they serious? First down, and they're in punt formation. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And this ball is going to be down now right at the 10-yard line. Good spot. I absolutely love the flexibility of these punters. Their leg drive, able to get it way up in the air. And that allows their punt team to get down there and down it inside the 10 because they've had some time. They'll run for the first time here with Matt Breida. He's got a convoy, and he might be gone. The 40, the 20, and all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Matt Breida, an even 90 yards as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Now the extra point. And the Chargers grab the 7 nothing lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a strange one here, a little befuddled. They're sending out the field goal unit now. And as is to be expected, this is nowhere near being good from that distance. And this score will stay right where it is.
Well, partner, the, the, this is where I need the color commentator. I'm not sure what to say about that one. Yeah, you and me both, my man. Let's just let that one go and move on. Deal. Marquise Brown, his second touchdown on the season. For the Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. CD, look at this clock and scoreboard. We're less than a minute into this game, and they've already made two trips to the end zone. So that means that someone's confidence is absolutely soaring right now. There's almost no slowing them down. On the flip side, now you've got to get together. You've got to talk to each other. Make sure you stay tight, stay focused as a team. Yeah, it's a quick blitz, but you can get back in this game if you don't let it get away. The extra point up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Their catch made in the 25-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And I would say they went three and out last time, but actually they didn't even get to three and out. Still a strange decision to us here in the booth. Yeah, let's hope they don't go one and out, but maybe, possibly, let's try and try and think with them here. Try to play field position, maybe. Turn the ball over, put it in the hands of their defense. Who knows? You're a nice man. <laughs> so after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. You can't block me. Now a run with McCaffrey. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. On third down, Winston. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly. But it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here's Logan Cook now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. A handoff to Breida to begin the drive. 
Fights forward for only about a yard up to the 21. Well, they had that one snipped out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Running out of the gun here, Brita. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one yard. Pickup sets up third and six. A three-yard pickup, and it's third down. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Complete. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. And he was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here's away. And this is taken at the 23. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Ravens will take over. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They've had it twice. They've punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jabal Sheard wreaking the defensive havoc. They were able to win last week despite him being sacked four times. They might need to tighten the reins a little bit or this one may not end in another victory. You're right about that. They can't count on just winning the game no matter what happens. They can't let the accumulation of hits and harassment in the pocket get to their quarterback. Got to stop that, give him clean lanes to throw the football in order to have a better chance to win. He's got a man complete. Deshaun Jackson off to the races. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Deshaun Jackson. 78 yards as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Brandon, my man, just one sentence for that one. Clinic. And that's what they've done. They lead the league in points per game this season, but it's been quick strike ability as we saw on that drive. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Hey! 
The Charger drive about to get going. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Out of the shotgun, Breda. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 15 yards on that one and a charger first down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. The first carry now for Tony Pollard. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll try to throw here now. Bridgewater. They'll set up a screen for Breida. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. He lost four there, and it's third down. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Oh, you're crediting your defense. Got to credit them on that one because they tried to fool them, right? Tried to trick them, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. On third down, a run from Burita. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. A pretty good effort there, nine yards, but not enough. We'll likely see the punt team now on fourth down. Is the punt team now as this one sent away? Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. They'll run with McCaffrey. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Give him two yards on the gain there, and it will take us to the end of quarter number one. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. You ready? Who ready? Run the line. Watch one. Watch one. On second down, McCaffrey. And he's able to get him a small cushion before being taken down at the five, a gain of three. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Winston from the gun on third down. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Not much going on this drive. Looks like they're going to have to punt it away, CD. And right now, I know a lot of their fans are screaming for the OC to change things up, get away from what he's been calling. Sometimes you just need better execution of the plays that have been called. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. And it's fielded at the 34. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially... Give him 15, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Charger drive about to get going. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away, 
They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. Well, from my vantage point, that's just one bad play by the offensive line and a running back who's had a, a lot of good ones tonight. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he's not going to be ticked off, nor is the offensive line, because to me it's a lot like a no-hitter, right? Pitcher's throwing a no-hitter, gives up a hit late. You're so close to accomplishing everything you want and don't quite get it done. They'll come back with a vengeance on the next play. Nine good yards here on the run, and now third down. down but from where they're spotting that football he's going to be a foot or so short one hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game understanding positioning and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches i think we just saw that on display right there got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield well, I was watching him in warm-ups, and he hit a 62-yarder that hit the crossbar and went over this one a little bit inside of that, but not enough leg. And the difference is what? Well, your live conditions, right? Live conditions, game conditions are a whole lot different than practice, where you just pop it up there, no rush, no pressure. I think maybe that takes a couple yards away from you when you have to do it when it's real. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Tracy Walker in on the tackle. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. Here's a four-receiver look now. Three of those guys out to the right side on second and eight. To throw is Winston. He'll hit Jackson to play. It's a pickup of 11 and a Baltimore first down. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. McCaffrey. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Even though they gave up more than they wanted to on that play, it actually illustrates how well they bottled him up throughout the game because that was his longest run of this contest. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. Ten yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Check 15, check 15. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. And when you get good yardage like that on first down, it really does a whole lot of good for your entire offense. But I love the way he's finishing those runs. At the end of things, he's making sure he gets just a little bit extra. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14 to 7. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. From the 17, Winston. He'll drop it off to McCaffrey. And he's brought down. 
That one good for 17 yards, and now they've got it first and goal. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. But anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back out of the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. They will run with Ware, and he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Spencer Ware. His first touchdown here of the new campaign as they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. PAT up and good by Rosas. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And not a particularly good return here as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. Well, conventional football, football 101, tells us if you don't get it back to the 20-yard line on a kickoff return, that's a disappointment. But some of these team special teams coaches, with approval by the head coach, they give them full authority to go ahead and bring it out and try to be aggressive. Almost what we call the green light, red light theory. Green light means go, red light means stop. Looks like he had green on that play. They'll begin the drive with Breda. And he'll take this one only up to about his 13-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. This is Breda, and an alley to run. And he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They run with Breda. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Bridgewater. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Now it's Breda. And he's got some space here. And he's got this down to the 35. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. On first and 10, Bridgewater. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the left hash, this will be a 52-yard attempt. 
That's running out of steam, and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. So we've hit halftime all even at 14 apiece. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, and ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. We got this. The Charger drive about to get going. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game. We'll see what the second half brings. It'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. you got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan showing you. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. To throw Bridgewater. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one and it's third down. So, Charles, tie game here. What are your keys as we continue to play this second half? I know people think it's always trite when you say the same things over and over, but they're tried and true in the game of football. Who's going to block better? Who's going to tackle better? In this case, to me, it's turnovers. You've got to take care of the football in order to win the game. Bridgewater now. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Janoris Jenkins. And he will score. Touchdown. Now that was a beautiful play. A pick six. How would you punctuate something like that, Mark? What do you mean with an exclamation mark? Exclamation mark, a big word. What would you do with that? Ampersand? I like it. Rosas good with the extra point. And the lead is now 21-14. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. And fresh off the pick six. They've got to forget about that quickly. In this case now, the guy throwing the ball, he's got to be like what we talk about with defensive backs who get beat for a long touchdown. Short-term memory, right back out there doing the things that he does best and knowing that taking care of the ball is paramount. Here's his opportunity. It comes back to those defensive backs for the formal D, former DB, right? I, I don't know where that comes from. It yeah. just kind of emerges out of me for some it's reason. It's deep in there, right? Yeah. <laughs> so the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. From the gun, Bridgewater. That's complete to his tight end. This is Lance Kendricks. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. That throw good for four. It's second down. Second down six at the Ravens 41 yard line. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second six. Here's Burrito. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Right 
And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments and doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. I see an extra defensive back on the field. Little surprise here on third and one. They run again with Breida. And he gets it to the 34. Good enough for the first. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. First down, Chargers. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On the handoff, this is Breda. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Now a give to Breda. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. A big night here under the lights carrying the football. And some guys prefer night games. For whatever reason, their bodies react a certain way. They love the spotlight. Maybe that's what it is. The best seats in the house, the ones where he's carrying the football for his offensive teammates, the worst seats, the 11 guys trying to tackle him on defense. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. And to give this time to the tailback. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. This will be the eighth play of the drive, and it's third and inches. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Breda. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. They'll come out in the pistol. And they'll get him down just shy of the goal line at about the one. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. A lot can go wrong when you call a play like this down in the red zone, but that's where you appreciate this from your head coach. He's not afraid to trust his guys to do the right thing, and as a player, that means an awful lot. Second and goal from the one. They'll try to run with Breida. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Chargers. Matt Breida, his second touchdown of the night. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Extra point safely through. And we are tied at 21. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kicks away. Ready. 
The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. Now Winston gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. And he'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll make this a second down. Second down six at the 29-yard line. One quarter remains here in this Thursday night matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Second and six, just inside the 30. Watch one, watch one. Let's go, tight end. Let's go right here now. Shift, shift. Hey, switch gears, switch gears. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain there, and it leads to a fourth down. Ready. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. And again, this is where. And an alley to run. left side and all the way in for a Ravens touchdown Spencer Ware with his second touchdown of the night and they're able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter Rosas to add the extra point oh how about this no good just his second miss of the year, and our score will stay right where it is. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. This is fielded at the goal line. And nothing but daylight ahead. 30, 10, and this is going to be a Charger touchdown. Officially an even 100 yards coast to coast on the kick return. And now they can recapture the lead if they can make the PAT. A big-time fourth-quarter return for a touchdown to tie this game. Now the PAT obviously will give him the lead. And as we know... Boy, hard to ask for a better game thus far. 27 apiece is our score as the kick's away. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much for the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, they want to ride him down the stretch. He should have fresh legs. Kill, 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 kill. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. We got double, here we go. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. 
just a yard up to the 39. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. This is McCaffrey. Call it an eight-yard gain. Much better shape now on third and just a yard. Offensive linemen love creating space for their guys carrying the ball. But when that guy also breaks tackles and creates extra yardage, they almost feel like he's one of them, and they really embrace him. They'll try and run with Ware. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. It's a pickup of 11 at a Baltimore first down. I was used to joke with my teammates who carried the ball a lot. When we got in these situations and they were carrying us home, I used to tell them, boy, you guys just look like Paul Bunyan, just growing stronger, bigger, tougher, and all night long, he's carried this team. He has indeed. Everything magnified right now, a huge third down conversion. On the ground, McCaffrey, not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old-school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense? What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive, and like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. From the 40 now on second down, Winston. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. They got him in. It's Woods. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 24-yard line. Both teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and ten. Working out of the gun, Winston. It's caught by Jackson. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. A gain of six there on first. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They face a second down, but they are in field goal range. Now a run with McCaffrey, and they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Check 31, check 31, check, check 43. Big end, big end, big end. Check 24, check 24. Here's McCaffrey. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. The Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They come out here in the eye. Second down, it's Ware. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through and picking up first downs. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Spencer Ware, his third touchdown of the season, all coming in this game. And they are able to break the tie and move out in front here in this fourth quarter. PAT up and good by Rosas. And they will take a seven-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. Ooh, the juke. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. On the 
The Charger drive about to get going. They're down here in a one-score game, but the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not, because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences, and this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity? They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. I think it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and ten. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by James Bradbury. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team.